皆さん、こんにちは。Welcome to my lesson. Today's topic is asking about when and where an event is held. In just about five minutes, you'll be able to ask plans and schedules in Japanese. You'll learn the essential expressions, practice speaking, and summarize the grammar points. If you're new here, just try my unique method. You'll finally gain confidence. Let's enjoy the journey together. Okay, let's start. Venue de evento ga arimas is the structure you learned from the previous lesson. Today, question. Evento wa doko de arimas ka? The example is party. Party ga arimas. Sounds nice, but you wonder where? Doko. Remember from part 1, lesson 4? So, say, party wa doko de arimas ka? Party wa. This is a topic now. Revise part 1, lesson 5 if you forgot wa. Repeat after me. Party wa doko de arimas ka? Party wa doko de arimas ka? Nice! But just doko de arimas ka by omitting party wa is better because the native speakers don't like repetition. Remember Japanese minimalism from part 1, lesson 5? Ginza de arimas. Now, let's practice. Okay, meeting. Meeting ga arimas. Now ask where. Yes? Doko de arimas ka? Arai hotel de arimas. Next, specific time ni event ga arimas is from part 2, lesson 3. Today, the question. Event wa itsu arimas ka? The date of the party. Party ga arimas. But now you want to know when. It's is when. Say, It's arimas ka? Repeat after me. It's arimas ka? It's arimas ka? Very good. 9月26日にあります。Okay, let's practice. Meeting. Meeting ga arimas. When? Ask. Yes? It's arimas ka? Excellent. 9月29日にあります。Okay, let's summarize the lesson. Tell me the sentence structure. Yes, event wa doko de arimas ka? And, event wa itsu arimas ka? These are question sentences of venue de specific time ni event ga arimas. Venue de is doko de as a question. Specific time ni itsu as a question. By the way, Can you say it's ni? No, because ni is used for a specific time. Like English, when is not used with at, in, on, but you say at 6 am and in September, right? Finally, ga is used when you introduce things exist. After the thing is introduced, you want to talk about it. Then you need to use wa talking about. But of course, it is omitted when the topic is clear. Now, I have to say mixing up particles is classic common error. So please practice a lot. But do you know how to practice on your own? If not, just have a look at my new online speaking course. I made it because I really wanted to help those dedicated learners like you. Common error focus tasks foster your learning. And lots of practical tasks help vocabulary building. 
you have no chance to speak Japanese? Or you practice lots with your friends but no confidence? Just try it for a month. You'll have limitless access for all the materials. I promise you'll speak far better than before. Click the link below and then check it out. Well done today. You're almost there. Thank you very much for learning Japanese. Let's enjoy the journey of language learning together. You're welcome to become my student. Just click the subscribe button below. And don't forget to click the bell not to miss the next lesson. And enrich your life. Your like and share will encourage me to make more lessons for you. Please check my blog on my website and my photos on my Instagram and news on my Facebook page. Also, please enjoy part one of Basic Japanese for Beginners. You can also have a look Japanese pronunciation for beginners. Thank you very much for watching my lesson. I'd love to see you on another video. Bye for now.